Whether you install WordPress locally or via the hosting provider, you'll get this screen after completing the installation and logging in as a site administrator. This is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. Don't get scared by the number of different sections here. Everything is easier than it looks and I'll walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your website. By default, WordPress has only the blogging functionality, but you can easily extend it by installing various plugins available for WordPress. So, the starting point is to install a WordPress plugin that adds marketplace features to your website. In this course we'll use Hivepress, a free, multi-purpose plugin that allows you to create marketplace websites of any type. To install a new plugin, go to the Plugins, Add New section and type Hivepress in the search bar to find the plugin. Then click on the Install button. Once it's installed, simply proceed by activating it. OK, the next step is to install a WordPress theme that will define the styling and layouts of your website. For the sake of this course, we'll use the Expert Hive theme. It's a clean and modern WordPress theme for service marketplaces, and it's fully compatible with the Hivepress plugin. To install a WordPress theme, go to the Appearance, Themes page, and click Add New. Then, click on the Upload theme button. Next, upload the theme zip file and proceed with the installation. Once you activate the theme, you'll get a suggestion to install the recommended plugins. It's crucial to install all of them to get all the necessary functionality for building a service marketplace. Simply click on the recommended plugins link and proceed by installing and activating them. After installing the theme, you can import the demo content. But in this course, I'll skip this and start from scratch to show how to set everything up step by step. If you want to start with existing content, I'll leave a link to the demo import instructions in the video description, as well as a link to the Expert Hive theme. Next, you need to install the Hivepress Marketplace extension to enable orders and payouts on your website. Please note that this extension is already included with the Expert Hive theme and you don't have to purchase it separately. It will be included in your purchase email as a separate file. To install it, go to the Plugins Add New section and click on the Upload Plugin button. Select the zip file to upload and proceed by installing and activating it. Also, it's crucial to install WooCommerce, a free e-commerce plugin since it will be used for accepting and processing payments via the website. To do this, click on the Add New button and find WooCommerce with the search bar. Then, click on the Install Now button. Once it's successfully installed, proceed by clicking on the Activate link. Once you activate WooCommerce, it will automatically launch its setup wizard. You should go through all the steps to set up payments for your website. But I'll skip it in this video since every website has its own unique details and payment methods. OK, now all the necessary plugins are installed. Let's briefly check the new Hivepress menu items in the WordPress dashboard. Please note that we'll go through each section later in this course, but for now, let's just take a sneak peek. First of all, you should understand that in Expert Hive there are two types of users. The first one is vendors, in other words service providers. They can add listings with descriptions of the services they offer, hourly prices and other necessary details. The second type is customers. Customers can search for service listings or for particular service providers and purchase their services. After making a payment, an order will be created and a service provider will be able to start working. Also, when customers cannot find a relevant service on the platform or have some extraordinary work to do, they can post custom requests with detailed descriptions and the desired budget. In that case, interested service providers will be able to make offers and bid on the request. Once a customer accepts the best offer and makes a payment, an order will be created and a service provider will start working. 
Here, in the payout section, you can add payout methods to allow service providers to get payouts of their earnings. Within the HivePress section, you can go through all the settings and we'll do that later in the course. Here, you can customize emails and templates without any code changes. Check HivePress themes and its official add-ons. Let's check the add-ons section. This is a list of the available free and premium HivePress extensions. You can extend the website functionality using any of these add-ons. For example, you can install the free geolocation extension to enable the location-based search on your website. Website visitors will be able to filter services and service providers by location or use the radius-based search and so on. So, feel free to visit this section and check all the extensions on your own. Now, let's move to the next video where I'll show you how to add listing categories and custom listing fields. See you in a minute!